I really like Kenneth Branagh as a director and I don't mind Poirot. So I kind of really thought I might like Death on the Nile. And while there are aspects of it that I thought were done very well, I have to say the pacing for this is not great at all. And I don't know if it compares to the pacing of the book. I will tell you, it's a two hour film. The actual mystery element of it and the death on the Nile doesn't happen until an hour in. It takes 50% of the narrative to actually get to that point. And I don't know if that's the case with the book as well, but I would find that very slow progressing. So this was a chance, if that is the case, for the story to be slightly remoulded so that the pacing's a little bit better. Unfortunately, that did not happen. And weirdly, I kind of enjoyed it up until the death on the Nile, which I'm not going to say anything about really, just in case you watch it. Because I, I do recommend it if you're a fan of Brana or Poirot. If there is a particular pull factor, you will enjoy certain elements of it. But if you're kind of on the fence, don't really think it's your kind of thing, I'd say maybe don't rush to see it. Um, but it's weird that I kind of enjoyed it up until the death happened. And then I, I just, I wasn't really that concerned. I didn't find myself emotionally invested. I wasn't that bothered about trying to find out who the killer was, which kind of sucks out half of the fun. Obviously, this was released this year in 2022. It's currently on Disney+, Plus, and visually, it feels like a Kenneth Branagh film. <laughs> Kenneth Branagh film. Visually, it is it is stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. The um, ancient Egyptian architecture, I think, is so stunning and colossal. And to, to visually, to watch, I think it's an absolute delight. Having Branagh's Praro again, you know, I think he does a good job. I think he fits the character well. I know some people will say Suchet is their one and only, which I completely get. But I, I don't mind Branagh's Poirot. I, I quite like him. I find the character endearing. Um, I particularly liked Dawn French in this as well. But in terms of the actual protagonists um, and a lot of the supporting characters, I didn't find that many people that interesting, which I guess meant that once the death did happen, I wasn't that bothered about finding out what people's motivations may have been or what their backstories might have been that may lead me to think X or Y person had done it. So there are a lot of things about this that may be the fault of the book. Now, I'm, I'm saying that like it's a badly written book. I haven't read it. Agatha Christie's very successful. I have read some of her books, and what I've read I've quite enjoyed. So obviously Death on the Nile is a very popular story. But if the characters are as... I won't say dull. They're not completely dull. But if they're not that interesting in the book I'm not sure why it's that successful so I'm going to assume that it's maybe the way the film leans on certain characters or presents them that makes them not that interesting to me at least you may differ as I said I really like Don French's character I thought she was very entertaining for the most part though it's visually a beautiful film I think in terms of the cinematography it's an achievement but the narrative or the way the narrative is presented is not that interesting. The concept of somebody being murdered and having a murder mystery is always going to be interesting. The actual concept is interesting. The execution of it is not that fascinating. And I thought the pacing of it was really bad. Again, is that the film's fault? Is it like that in the novel? Even if it is like that in the novel, this was an opportunity to change that. But then, of course, if Branagh had changed it, he would be accused of not sticking to the source material. So I guess that's a, a can't win situation anyway. But either way, Death on the Nile, visually beautiful, worth watching if there is anything about it that is pulling you towards it. But if you're really not that bothered and you don't think it'll be for you anyway, I'm not going to spend much time trying to convince you otherwise. <laughs>